what's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel so today we are going to be doing a uh, install and product review of the uh, open road four-wheel drive 270 awning check it out this thing is super cool and um, we've been wanting to do a 270 awning for a long time we just never really got around to it and uh, we're now working with uh, open road four-wheel drive and they gave us this awning to test out and use out on our trips and uh, i'm out here on the beach first time using it and i love it so i'm gonna sit back and uh, just chill out and enjoy the rest of this drink and uh, we'll see y'all back at the garage to put this thing on So uh, this is a pretty straightforward unboxing, I guess. I mean, it's just an awning. It's nothing crazy, but everything's packaged nice. Um, nothing's damaged or anything like that. So on top of the awning right over here on this side, we have our two uh, mounting brackets. And these things are pretty heavy duty. Check that out. We got one, and two, and once you get past a couple layers of styrofoam, we have the awning itself. All right, there we go. So we got this little pouch inside the awning. When you open up the box, take the awning out, open up the awning. And I'm betting the hardware's in here. Yeah, it is. Okay, so we have some paracord. I'm guessing that's to uh, use stakes for the poles if you're gonna use that. Now this is a freestanding awning, so uh, we won't need those too often unless it's crazy windy. There's some more paracord. Okay, cool. It came with a 13 millimeter ratcheting wrench. Uh, that's nice if you don't have one of those. And it also came with a 14 millimeter wrench. More paracord. And then we have all of our hardware in here. You can see that. A few stakes. All the bolts and nuts. And then it looks like a couple of uh, spacers or something. Um, I don't know what that's for, but we'll figure it out later on. Right on, cool. So um, now what I need to do is go figure out how I'm gonna mount this thing on my roof rack. So I am running the Victory 4x4 roof rack on my 4Runner and um, I just found out that it, the mounts that I had for my other awning, which was the, uh, the Napa Maxitrack eight foot awning, those will not work with a 270 awning, which is kind of dumb. I don't know why Victory 4x4 did that, but um, I'm gonna have to figure out a way. We might have to do some drilling and you know mounting and customization and stuff, but uh, I'm gonna figure it out. So let's go over there and kind of start brainstorming and then we'll get this thing started. Here's the mounts that the uh, open road awning came with right there. So that's how I'm gonna be mounting it just like that. So I'm gonna, get this little end of this curve right here even with the edge of the roof rack and then what i think i'm going to have to do is i'm going to drill out the roof rack right here so i'm going to drill one two holes and i'm going to get some good sized bolts in there and then i'm going to have to stack washers to where it fits even right there if y'all can see what i'm talking about but um i'll get that figured out here in a minute i might have to go to lowe's and get a uh get some hardware and get some washers and stuff but that's how I'm going to be mounting it, just like that. And then I'm just going to drill out my crossbars on my roof rack and um, mount it that way. I think that's going to be the easiest way. Just finished uh, drilling out my first set of holes to mount this on there. So I'm going to be using the two, two of the longer bolts that the hardware kit came with. And it's getting windy outside. Let me let that slow down so y'all can hear me. But uh, there you can see, it's so two holes. It's an aluminum crossbar, so it's super easy to drill through. So right there is how it's going to line up. 
but um, as you can see it's uneven because the crossbars on this roof rack are lower than the edges of the the top right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some washers and I'm gonna stack them in between to make it level so uh, that's how I'm gonna get started on now oh, I'm gonna go through my uh, little bin with random nuts and bolts in the garage right here and see how many washers I can find in here all right so I got lucky um, I have tons of washers but I actually found these uh, little nuts right here so um, these fit in there perfect I'll show you guys real quick let me jump up here okay so you can see what I did was I just stacked that nut right in between to fill the gap and I still have plenty of threads on the bottom to uh, get these mounted on securely so that worked out perfect and um, now all I got to do is drill out the other side and get that one mounted and then we can mount the awning up and I love when stuff works out it's crazy you know it feels kind of weird sometimes when you're doing an install and everything just works out but let's not jinx it so I'm gonna open it up now I'm gonna show you guys how it looks how it functions and uh, we'll get to see it I'm excited all right guys so this is real time I'm not fast forwarding this video I'm not doing a time lapse or nothing like that so this is actually how long it takes to set this thing up so ready go All right, that was super, super fast. I am totally not used to that. I'm used to fighting my uh, my maxi track awning like crazy in the wind, and you know sometimes using two people to set it up. I don't even think that took 30 seconds to set up. That was sweet. So check it out. So I got everything opened up. The hatch opens up with plenty of room to spare. Uh, I'll show you guys. The supports on it this thing is built very well everything is welded together and one thing that I like about it is that these legs right here the support poles they clip into place right here so when you're not using them they clip right in but when you want to use them all you got to do is pop them out and uh, set them down but it is a self-supporting awning so you don't need those unless it's super windy I have seen a lot of awnings that these are separate and that's kind of annoying because you have to store them separately so this is nice that everything's you know all in one piece but it, I mean it is super solid like this thing can can withstand some wind and the way that I have it uh, supported is over here on my roof rack I just put the little strap right here and tighten that down and that keeps it nice and tight so the hatch opens up almost all the way which is nice um, because you can still access everything with the hatch open so as you can see right here i am six foot tall and i'm standing straight up right now and my head is not touching the hatch so that's perfect and i can still come in here and do my thing you know cook do whatever but yeah it's a uh, super cool awning and i am super excited to start using this thing um, I kind of wish I would have got it sooner, but who cares? Summer's already almost over and we had a hot summer this year, so this would have been nice, but uh, I'm excited. I'm going to show you all how it closes really quick. So um, in order to shut it, you got to close the hatch because it's not going to close all the way if your hatch is in the way. So I'm going to be doing this with one hand. I'm going to be holding this GoPro and closing it with one hand to show you guys how easy this is. So all I have to do is undo this little strap right here. And then kind of just follow that along the length of the car and it's super smooth and you have your cover right here so basically 
lift up your cover and then just jam it underneath just like that I'm doing this with one hand guys so bear with me if I had two hands I could do it a lot faster okay pop that cover back over and then this is your excess uh, canopy so all you got to do is kind of roll that up let me uh let me use both hands for this part i'm gonna drop the camera i don't want to damage this camera i just got it okay so with the excess canopy right here all you do is kind of roll it up in place and then you have your um your three little velcro straps I mean just like most other awnings do just shut those Bam. and then you get your zipper Just like that, and then she's shut. So um, if you guys like this awning, um, check out their website, Open Road Four Wheel Drive. I will link everything in the description. And um, I even got a discount code for you guys. So my code is BFM1, all caps, BFM1. And uh, if you wanna get one of these awnings yourself, use that code at checkout and they will knock 50 bucks off for you. So that'll save you a little bit of money right there. But yeah, guys, it is sweet and I'm looking forward to using it. So that's all we got for today. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or anything about it or how I mounted it, or if you have any ideas for me that I, where I can change something, let me know in the comments below. If not, see y'all next time.